good day. This is the tree shepherds, and I welcome the ponies for English. For this video exhibition, we will learn about Subject Verb Agreement. Subject verb agreement simply means the subject and the verb must agree in number. This means both need to be singular or both need to be plural. What is the subject of the sentence? The subject of the sentence is the noun or pronoun that is doing or performing an action or being something. What is a verb? The verb is carrying out the action or linking the subject to further information. Let's study the sentences. Underline the subject once and the verbs twice. 1. My scissors need sharpening so I can use them better. The subject is scissors. And the verb is need. 2. The carpenter's pliers are kept in the cabinet. The subject is pliers. The verb is are. 3. The proceeds of this fundraising will go to the children's fund. The subject is proceeds. The verb is go. Number four. Social studies requires the skills in map reading. The subject is social studies. And the verb is requires. Five. The news was flushed in the screen. The subject is news and the verb is was. Analyze the nouns in the subject and the verbs in the predicate. What can you say about the agreement of subject and verb in this sentence. Now in this lesson, we will learn more of the rules and subject verb agreement. Here are more rules to remember for a correct subject verb agreement. One. Some nouns are plural in form and require plural verbs, like scissors, pajamas, pliers, jeans, pants, eyeglasses, refreshments, trousers, proceeds. Example, her jeans are well pressed and clean. The subject here is Jeans, and that is plural. That's why it takes a plural verb, R. Two, other nouns appear to be plural but are most often singular in meaning and therefore require singular verbs. Like mathematics. Statistics, Civics, Physics, Calisthenics, Athletics, Gymnastics, Social Studies, News, Measles, Mumps. Example Mathematics is Anne's favorite subject. The noun or the subject here is mathematics and the verb is is. It appears to be 
plural, but it is singular in meaning. Another example. Physics is important for understanding how the world works. The subject is physics and the verb is is. Same with mathematics. Physics appears to be plural but singular in meaning. Three, most indefinite pronouns require singular verbs like another, any, anyone, anything, everybody, everyone, everything, nobody, not, one, each. Examples. No one to be home right now. The subject is one and the verb is seems and that is singular. Another example. Everyone gets to have ice cream. The subject is everyone and the verb is gets. They are both singular. Four, a few indefinite pronouns require plural verbs. All, many, some, several, both. Examples. Many are depending on the decision of the judge. The subject is many and the verb is are. They are both plural. Another example, both baseball and basketball are my favorite sports. Now that's all for today. I hope you have learned from the rules that we have studied. Don't forget to do your activities under Language Workshop A and B on page 89 of your English book.